Okay, uh, let us learn nuclear and particle physics. Okay, before we start this chapter, first I want to clarify uh, this chapter is about nucleus, yeah, not atom. Okay, if you look at this title itself, nuclear, okay, it only focus on the nucleus of the particle. It's not focused about the atom, okay? It's not about the atom. Uh, it's about only the nucleus itself. So, this one, uh, not, uh, if talking only about the nucleus, means this one not include, okay, sorry. Uh, if this one talking about nucleus, means, means it's not including, not include the electrons. Uh, not includes electrons. It only include the proton and neutron. Okay, if talking about nucleus, it's only about the proton and neutron. Okay, uh, if you're talking about the atoms, atoms is actually has a nucleus in the middle. Okay, uh, in the nucleus in the middle, and then you have uh, electrons. Yeah, you have electrons. Um, uh, orbit. Yeah? the or electrons orbit. Uh, but we are not talking about um, the electrons. Okay, we only focus on the nucleus, uh, the nucleus at the middle. Okay, so this chapter only focus on the nucleus, okay, uh, which has uh, proton and neutron. Okay, proton and neutron. Okay, so uh, first of all, how to write an, uh, uh, an atoms, okay, an atoms. So this is the way we write it, okay, but we only focus on the nucleus, okay. Uh, not including the electrons. Okay, um, so if you look at this, uh, this is actually the element X, element X. Uh, the Z, Z here is actually called the atomic number or the proton number. Uh, so Z, uh, it has uh, two names. It's either atomic or a, it's a uh, proton number. Atomic is not the mass number. Yeah? Atomic is the proton number. Uh, remember, uh, don't... don't uh, Confuse yourself, yeah? Don't get yourself wrong. Atomic number is not the atom. It's about only the proton, okay? Only the proton number. Uh, whereas uh, the A is called the mass number, all right? The mass number uh, which uh, include both proton and neutron, okay? This mass number has another name called nucleon number. Uh, nucleon number. Nucleon, what is nucleon? It's uh, similar to the word nucleus, okay? Nucleon is actually particles in the nucleus uh, so uh, these nucleons uh, include the proton and neutron uh, so we can say it's like z plus uh, n uh, z is the proton uh, n is the neutron okay so uh, maybe i can put a, give an example let's say uh, i have um, carbon 12 means is a uh, carbon 12 this one okay so, uh, how many protons you have in this carbon? Okay, uh, so the atomic number is 6. Okay, uh, that means it has uh, 6 protons. Uh, it has 6 protons. Okay, uh, this is the atomic number. Okay, atomic number. Okay, atomic number. Whereas the mass number or nucleons number, okay, is called the A. Uh, it's called the A. Um, a, uh, this is the mass number, 12. Uh, that means it has, um, uh, this is the mass number. It has uh, 12 nucleons. I can say it has 12 nucleons. Uh, why we say 12 nucleons? 12 nucleons because it has, um, nucleons means uh, particles in the nucleus. That means it has uh, 12 particles in nucleus. Uh, so that means these nucle these particles in the nucleus can be proton or neutron. Okay, can be proton and neutron. Uh, this is the mass number. This is the uh, mass number or called the nucleon number. Understand? Okay, so, uh, this one, yeah. Uh, hopefully you understand. So uh, this is the uh, twelve nucleons. Okay. Um, so, uh, like, like this, at the, this nucleus, it has 12 nucleons. That means it has uh, 12 um, proton in, uh, and neu neutron. So, how many neutron it has? Uh, if, talking, if you want to find only the neutron, how to find the neutron? 
Okay, so uh, since you have 12 nucleons and he has 6 protons, that means um, it has uh, 12 minus 6, which is uh, uh, 6 neutrons. Uh, 6 neutrons. Okay, uh, so since it has a 6 proton plus 6 neutron, so it has 12 nucleons in the nucleus. Uh, he has 12 nucleons in the nucleus. So nucleons is actually the particles in the nucleus. Okay. Uh, so what is the atomic number again? Atomic number is the proton number. Okay. Atomic number again is the uh, atomic means the proton number. Whereas what is the mass number? Uh, mass number is the nucleon number. Is the nucleon number. Okay. So, um, right. Okay, now I want to talk about uh, this uh, binding energy and mass defect. Uh, before we go for binding energy and mass, mass defect, what are, what are they? Uh, so, I want to, uh, we, we have to learn about this theory of relativity. Okay, what is actually re theory of relativity? Uh, the, be, uh, the most important thing in this theory is mass is actually a form of energy. Ah, yeah. Uh, it is given by this formula E equal to mc square. Uh, why why is this so significant for this formula? Uh, mass is actually a form of energy. What kind of energy you have? You have a potential energy, kinetic energy, uh, heat energy, light energy, isn't it? Uh, have you ever thought mass is also an energy? Mass is also an energy. Uh, what I'm saying is uh, about the nuclear energy. Uh, nuclear energy uh, is actually saying that mass can turn to energy uh, because we know that energy can uh, turn turn their form. Yeah? We can sometimes can say electric energy. Electric energy can turn to kinetic energy. Um, yeah, uh, and then um, the uh, electrical energy can turn to kinetic energy. Yeah. Uh, so, mass also can turn to energy, uh, called the nuclear energy. So, uh, like in the nuclear plant, they use a very, very small mass, yeah? just a little bit of mass, can turn to a lot, a lot of energy. Yeah? Uh, so, they're using the uranium. Yeah? So, uh, they turn some mass, uh, some part of, uh, maybe a few uh, micrograms of mass, can turn to a lot, a lot of energy. Yeah? Uh, so this is why uh, this is what explained by this formula e equal to mc square. Yeah, imagine uh, this one uh, the mass. Uh, importance of this equation is this mass and uh, energy. Uh, energy and the mass they are interchangeable. Uh, mass can turn to energy. Energy also can turn to mass. Imagine yeah, a little bit of mass can turn to a lot of energy. Why I say like that? Because um, imagine, let's say you have uh, only one gram, uh, one gram which is uh, 0 0.001 kilogram, multiplied by this is the speed of light. C C is the speed of light, which is a uh, three exponent eight. That's a lot of that's a lot of zero. Uh, three exponent eight means you have eight zero. Let's write out the zero there. Zero one two three four five six seven eight. Square some more. Square some more. So you have eight zero, it becomes sixteen zero. So how many joule of energy is this? How many joule of energy is this? That's a lot, a lot of energy because uh, you multiply by the speed of light square. Uh, so only a little bit of a little bit of mass can turn to large amount of energy. Uh, so um, this is about the theory of relativity. The mass can turn to energy, energy can turn to mass. Uh, mass is just another form of energy. Okay, so uh, one thing uh, I want to um, uh, emphasize here is the usage of this formula. Okay, especially the unit. Okay, so I want you to pay attention to the unit. This formula again, all only use SI unit. Uh, SI unit. Because I know that uh, uh, this uh, modern physics. Uh, you have unit, you have uh, two units for energy. You have electron volt, electron volt, and also you have joule. Okay? Ah, 
only uh, out of these uh, mega electron volt, electron volt, and joule, only the only the joule is the SI unit. Okay. Uh, similarly to this um, unit for mass, you also have later you will learn about atomic mass unit and also ki kilogram. Only the kilogram they are SI unit. Ah, SI unit. So whenever you use this formula, you use this formula. Remember, you only use SI unit. Ah, you only use the SI unit, which is joule, or which is kilogram. Ah, don't use the uh, atomic mass unit. Don't use the electron volt. Understand? So, uh, so I want to emphasize here is um, okay. Again, this E is the energy. M is the rest mass. Uh, rest mass. Why? Why got the rest there? Uh, I don't need to explain about this because um, not really important. Rest mass actually is uh, it consider about the mass at rest. Uh, mass at rest, not including the kinetic energy. Yeah, uh, we don't include the kinetic energy in this formula because uh, this formula is about energy also. Okay, so this uh, rest mass basically means the mass at rest. Uh, mass at rest. Yeah, not uh, it doesn't contain kinetic energy. Okay, yeah, mass at rest. That's 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 it. Yeah, and then C is the speed of light in vacuum. Okay, and square square some more. This formula only use SI unit. SI unit. That means this energy must be in the form of joule. You must use joule. Okay, must use joule only. Ah, uh, don't use the electron volt. Okay, don't you don't ever use the electron volt because electron volt is not SI unit. Ah, uh, yeah. When you, I mean, when you substitute substitute value into this formula, when you substitute the value of energy into this formula, the energy need to be in the unit of joule. Okay, the SI unit. Uh, don't use the electron volt. And then the mass here also the same. Uh, the mass here must use the SI unit kilogram. Kilogram. Uh, don't use the unit atomic mass unit. Uh, don't use it. Uh, don't ever then ever substitute uh, atomic mass unit into this formula. Okay. Only use the SI unit kilogram. Okay. And then uh, talking about the speed of light. Uh, speed of light. Uh, speed of light of course is a meter per second. Yeah. Meter per second unit uh, square. So basically, if you look at this formula. Uh, this one must be in SI unit. This one, the energy must be in joule. Uh, the mass must be in kilogram because um, if you look at the formula, the unit, yeah, just the unit itself. Uh, e equal to mc square. E E is joule. Uh, the mass is kilogram. Mass is kilogram, and then uh, the speed of light is meter per second. The speed, uh, velocity, square some more. So become kilogram. Meter square per second square. Ah, indeed, joule joule unit is kilogram meter meter square per second square. Ah, if you put uh, let's say if you put uh, yeah, this is the SI unit. The and this unit they are tally. They tally with each other. Yeah, they tally with each other. I, imagine if you put the energy as electron volt, and then the the what the kilogram you uh, you maintain a kilogram, uh, kilogram and then um, and then you have the speed of light uh, meter square per second square because you have square there, so it's not tally lah. I uh, cannot. Yeah, it's wrong. Which is uh, this is this is um, okay. This is this is wrong. Ah, uh, this is wrong. This one is correct. Okay. Don't put the energy as kilo electron volt. Also, similarly, don't put the you the any the what the the mass in atomic mass unit don't substitute as atomic mass unit u and then how how it how it will equal with each other yeah uh, meter uh, this one is a uh, again uh, meter square per second square after you square it so cannot also isn't it uh, so the the mass also cannot be in the mass also cannot be in atomic mass unit. Uh, the energy cannot also be in electron volt when you substitute into this formula. Uh, the the unit accepted for this formula e to the mc square is only the SI unit. SI unit joule. The mass must be in kilogram, and the speed of light of course is a uh, meter per second square. Uh, so 
uh, remember only accept only accept this one all right the other are wrong uh, don't 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 substitute electron volt don't substitute atomic mass unit into the mass okay uh, but it, let, there are other ways to uh, convert atomic mass unit to mega electron volt directly uh, that one i will teach in the following videos all right okay um all right that's all for this video okay let's move on to the next one